my friend, welcome back to Crenshaw, Mississippi. You know what? The first time I ever come to Crenshaw, Mississippi, if you remember, you and me had a match. That's the first day we met. Right. Right. That was in 1996, Bruno, over in the old gymnasium. Um, I was scheduled to have my first ever wrestling match against a manager in Memphis at the time named Scott Bowden. I remember that. And Eddie he chickened out. He chickened out, that's right. Well, the real thing is Scott Bowden got fired from the USWA. So Eddie Marlin was going to award me the match. And heaven forbid you came out and said I couldn't have the match like that. My God, you weren't going to get your hand raised without taking a beating. <laughs> well, but you know, it's amazing we became such close friends. So let's face it, 20, was it 23 years ago? I whooped you like a red-headed stepchild. Well, Bruno, I, I, I wouldn't go so far as to say that now. You know, you had some help. You had some help with uh, Reggie B. Fine that night, remember? I, I don't recall. Well, I do recall, and then I had some help. Y'all remember uh, the Road Dog in the WWE? Road Dog was here that night, and he came in and, and, and hit me out. He sure did. That's why to this day, every time I see him, I just shake my hands. Why did you help out Oscar Barlow? But you know what? All joking aside, the first thing I want to say is this guy has been a great mayor for here in Crenshaw, Mississippi, helping an even better District 2 supervisor for Panola County. So I urge everyone that can vote in Panola County, that ain't on parole or whatever, to go ahead and vote for my friend Oscar Barlow. I think it would be a, a great supervisor to help this county, to help this city, help this town. And you know what? It's great that you bring championship wrestling to here in this wonderful city, this wonderful town. You know, I'm from Wallace. We don't have as much as y'all do. We don't even have a Dollar General. <laughs> one day, maybe, if I become mayor, we'll get one. There you go. There you go. Well, Bruno, you know, uh, I was looking back on a little downtown Bruno history. You made your first appearance on WMC TV 5 in 1986. <laughs> 1986, you brought out this big guy, Goliath, and you had Big Bubba, and they were doing battle against Jerry the King Lord and the John Hillbilly. Yeah, and I was the manager, boy Tony Falk against Tracy Smothers. And I jumped in the ring, kicked Tracy Smothers in the back of the head, jumped over from inside the ring to outside to the floor. If I tried to do that now, I would kill myself. Well, Bruno, Bruno has been from Memphis, Tennessee, to, from the Memphis Miss South Coliseum, all the way to the Big Apple in Madison Square Garden to WrestleMania, the biggest wrestling event of all time. Tell us about the event. What, what did it feel like being at WrestleMania? Well, you know, my very first WrestleMania, I was in the main event, Sid Vicious against the incredible Hulk Hogan. So being out there, even though I was just part of the puzzle, I wasn't the featured person, but I was part of it. It was a big deal for a guy to start off setting up the rings in 1979. But you know, the biggest accomplishment in my career and in my life is my beautiful wife, my beautiful niece, my beautiful sister-in-law, my nephews. I love them very much. I'm so proud that they're here. I'm proud to be friends with you. The only thing I don't like, to be honest with you, is that big, fat goof. Hollywood Jimmy being here why in the world would they book Hollywood Jimmy? No, I'm the greatest manager ever to come out of the state of Mississippi. Hollywood Jimmy, I'm going to tell you something. He's not only the worst manager I've ever seen in my life, but I'm surprised he made it here. Because where he's from in Tupelo to here, there's plenty of buffets. I'm surprised. But he made it here. Nobody could have stopped him. Every 20 miles and ate all you can eat. Well, it looks like they already did. We had to put grease and Vaseline on the door just to slide him in. <laughs> but I tell you, Bruno, I agree with you about Jimmy Blaylock. I'm not a Jimmy Blaylock fan either. But let me tell you, Bruno has been, uh, Memphis Wrestling uh, produced a lot of the great managers. Jimmy Hart, Sam Bass, Jim Cornette, Jimmy Kent, Dr. Ken Ramey. But I'd have to say my friend, downtown Bruno, ranks right up there with all the rest and all the best. A future, and I keep telling him this privately, and I'm going to tell him right now publicly, this is a future WWE Hall of Famer, I'm telling you. Absolutely. Downtown Bruno, a.k.a. Marky Willis. He's a future WWE Hall of Famer. And all you got to do is just, you know, we just need to start a campaign. Oh, my God. Really? You said Hall of Famer, not Hall of Famer.
hall of shame. Look at that man. Look at him. It's the old buffet buster himself. He's got more kids than a Chinese telephone book. Don't try to walk too fast, Jamie. You'll be sucking air like a Hoover vacuum cleaner. Well, like we don't need any trouble out of you and your guys here tonight. So Y'all are so Why don't you just take it back to the back, man? Y'all a bunch of ugly kids over here. That's all I got to say. Jimmy, just take it back to the back. I don't have to take it back to the back. Hey, guys, come here for a minute. Y'all tell me. I got something I want to talk about here. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Those are two Freddie Mercury look like. I don't know where we're at, but we better get over this way. Huh? First of all, I don't like you, and I sure don't like none of you idiots out here. You understand me? You know what, with faces like that, I'd boo too, because you're a bunch of ugliest people I've ever seen in my entire life. What'd you say? I'll come back here and slap you, you understand? No, no, you shut your mouth. And this guy right here used to be, he was the giant hillbilly a long time ago, back 20 years ago. He was trained by David Cox. Did you know that? That's a, yeah, 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 that's the truth, that's the truth. Another thing, shut up and I'll come back here and slap you. I don't like you anyway. You're just like, shut up, old man. Ain't nobody ask you anything. Now, let me tell you something right now. You bunch of snot-nosed, stinking brats over here. I don't like none of you. I sure don't like this side. That guy with a hat on there, you look like an idiot over there. I'm going to slap you a couple of times. But let me tell you something down there, Bruno. I hate your guts. Do you understand? I have the great, you've always been jealous because look what I got with me. I got the greatest tag team in the history of professional wrestling, and I'm speaking of final hour. Do you understand? And by the way, when I say final hour, you people clap. Final hour. See, you are jealous because I get people looks like, look at this man, look at this, look at this, look at this, baby. Look at that. Don't you wish you like that? Look at this, baby. Look at that, look at that, baby. Look at that. And I look just like that underneath my suit here. Just like that. Shut up. I've never had a Twinkie in my life. I don't eat Twinkies. Now, let me tell you something, Bruno. Hey, hey, first of all, you're not going nowhere until I tell you to go somewhere. Hey, 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 hey. When I tell you and I'm talking to you, you don't go nowhere. Do you understand me? You listen to me. I'm a lot better manager than you'll ever be. Do you understand me? When I'm talking, you listen to me, boy. Let me tell you something. I don't listen to big fat turds like you. Hey, hey, don't you ever speak to me in that tone of voice, boy. Do you understand? Hey, be, hey, I'm asking you, I'm not asking you, I'm telling you, punk. You understand? I'm telling you. You must shut up when I'm talking. Let me tell you something, bro. I don't like you. I never have liked you. You are nothing but a peon. I am the greatest manager that ever lived. Do you understand me? Don't talk with your mouth full, Twinkie boy. You know 
tell this the truth. Bruno made a name here in Memphis. When it comes to downtown Bruno, it's Jimmy Hart. If it wasn't Jimmy Hart, it was Bruno that made Memphis what it is when it came to coming out here finding talent. But I'm gonna tell you what this man did for me and it's straight from the heart. When he got ready to leave, he looked at me and he said, Danny B, let me tell you something, son. I don't know how I'm gonna do it, but I'm going to WWE. I'm gonna do something. I'm gonna make something out of this business. I'm gonna change things around. And that's what this man did. And you know what he told me? He said, Danny, whenever I make a mark, whatever it is, I'm gonna look out for you. And you know what? He went to the WWE. He made a name for himself. He changed a lot of things up there. He earned respect up there. Hogan respected. Fred respected. And not only that, Vince McMahon respected this man. But I'm going to tell you just like this. He told me he was going to look out for him. 2009, I was in Hernando doing a show. And I met this man downtown Brewer in the dressing room. He said, man, I need your number, and I didn't know why. This is the honest God truth. There's one thing about me, I'm, I do not lie. This is the honest God truth, people. He looked at me and said, I need your telephone number. I didn't know for what I wouldn't worry. So when I went back home, I sat down and I chilled. I was sitting there watching Monday Night Raw. They was bringing in Cedric the Entertainer. And the person I went, I looked at him. I said, y'all know what? I wonder what they're going to do with this. I wonder who they're going to bring in. And guess what? Ten minutes after that, my phone rolled, and it was this man right here, downtown Bruno. He said, Danny B. He said, I need a favor from you. He said, I tell you what. They bring it in, schedule the entertainer on Monday Night Raw. And I need you to be a part of his entourage. I'm trying to put something together. It wasn't Jerry King Law. It wouldn't be your superstar, Dundee. It was this man right here that got me to the WWE. This man downtown Bruno did this for me. Nobody else, not Danny King, not Jerry Lawler. Ooh, I can't say what I'm saying. And you know, didn't have anything to do with Hollywood either. You might be Hollywood, but around here, this is the real Hollywood right here. Downtown Bruno. And brother, I thank you from this day forward. Yes, I did. And Mr. Bowman, I heard you running for supervisor position, District 2. Let me tell y'all something about this man right here. He's a great man. He's a great father. I will give him my left arm. But I'm going to tell y'all something. I was busy. I had something to do. I had made plans to do something. But Brother Oscar called me up. He said, Danny B, I need you and your son to come down and do a trip to downtown Bruno. And you know what? I was supposed to be somewhere else, honest to God true, making $500 for 10 minutes. But you know what I did? I turned it down. Because when this man right here need my help, I got his back. Oscar, when you need my help, I got your back. Let me tell you something, guys. Election coming up. I want everybody to keep in mind who to vote for. It shouldn't be no game. It shouldn't be no secret. This man right here. I'm telling you. But Hollywood Playlock, I don't know what's going on. I don't know what's wrong. But right now, my son had not made it here yet. And right now, I am a little really worried about this situation. But let me tell you something. If y'all ever put y'all hands on this man again, long as I can breathe, I kid you not. I will slap you so hard, brother. When you wake up, you're going to need a haircut. But hey, Chris, y'all, let me tell y'all a little secret. Very simple. Their mama wanted a girl. Their daddy wanted a boy. But guess what? They both satisfied, if you know what I mean. Never oh, played out just like Hollywood played out. And tonight, I got something for you, boy. Because the revolution, you was going to feel it. Bruno, do me one favor. Yes, sir. If he ever tried to interfere in this match, I want you to slap him so hard till his mama won't realize it. <laughs> You got my word, brother. You got my word. Jimmy, if you and me getting a fight, this would be two hits. Me hitting you and you hitting the floor. Shut up. Let's Shut go up. back and talk about this. Give it to me. Bruno, Bruno, Bruno. Bruno, Bruno, Bruno. It's my time to 
say something. First of all, you should have been like your son. You should have stayed away from this place. Do you understand? Will you shut up? Let these people shut their mouth, security, while I'm talking. Let me tell you something. I don't like you, and I sure don't like your son. You understand? I don't like your son. If you know what? The apple don't fall far from the tree. Both of you nothing but jailbirds. Do you understand me? Jailbird. I don't like either one of you. You better be sick, Paul. You're going to regret this. You're going to regret this. And you know what? I hope you lose. Right. You understand? I hope you lose. Let's Let's say, I'm going to run for mayor. I'm going to run for mayor. And I'm going to be the mayor of this town. Do you understand me? I've got a nice yeah. Go to the back. My God, Jimmy Blaze. Well, I tell you the truth. That 